<laughs> and now for something completely different. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Pipe down. Ah. Drumstick? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> All right, Anyhow. part two, Tim Vine. Thank okay, us. we did the first one, remember? We did the first one. Now we're doing the second one. We'll do as much as we can until we're laughed out, and then we'll do the third one. All right, you ready? Tim Vine live. Here we go. I had to back it up a bit. So. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Let's hear it for Kath there she is. I feel like you just hit me in the face with a wet flannel. Has that made it, has that made it better? Here we are, look at that, look. Dry as a bone. <laughs> and that's right, if you chew a crayon, ladies and gentlemen, it gives you greasy lips. But of course, the same can be said for a kebab. But have you ever tried rhyme with a kebab? Sheesh. <laughs> You have to throw it further than that if you want to hit me. Um, so I went to a fancy dress party dressed as sodium chloride and I walked in. This bloke threw sulfuric acid on my head. It was terrible. I didn't know how to react. <laughs> so I got home. I discovered a burglar pressing one of my shirts. So I punched him. Because you've got to strike while the iron's hot. And then I saw this bloke chatting up a cheetah. I thought he's trying to pull the fast one. this train driver, I said, I want to go to Paris. He said, you're a star. I said, I've been on telly, but I'm not Dean Martin. <laughs> Mind you, at least Eurostar's comfortable. It's murder on your Express, isn't it? <laughs> so I went down to my local gym. I said, Mr. Nasium, I said, I said, can you teach me how to do the splits? He said, how flexible are you? I said, I can't make Tuesdays. <laughs> But I tell you what, I love doing more than anything. Climbing into a small suitcase, like a lot of containers are. <laughs> so I went to this Indian restaurant. I thought, this smells familiar. Do you get that? Deja Vindaloo. <laughs> and the waiter said to me, he said, curry okay? I said, I might do summer love when I finish this. <laughs> you know those trick candles that you blow out and a couple of seconds later they come alight again? Well, the other day, there was a fire at the factory that makes them. <laughs> So I went down to a local video shop. I said, can I take out the elephant man? He says, not your type. I said, can I have Batman forever? He said, no, you've got to bring him back tomorrow. I said, what about another 48 hours? He said, tomorrow. I said, have you got big trouble in little China? He said, no, I'm just wearing tight trousers. I said, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. He said, out. I said, candy shack. He said, I won't tell you again. Now. Do you know, my favourite film is the Clint Eastwood classic, Unforgiven. Isn't that a great film? At the moment, they're working on a sequel. It's called, look, I said I'm sorry. <laughs> but I didn't enjoy that film, Shock Alar. I thought I didn't like I just kept thinking, I said, where are the Oompa Loompas? <laughs> oh, I chose that one. Is that all right? Yeah. I had a bone to pick with him. <laughs> So I met this gangster who pulls out the back of people's pants. It was Wedgie Cray. <laughs> so I went down to a local quarry. I said, that's a big rock. He said, boulder. I said, no, that's a big rock. <laughs> so Robin Hood walked up to me. I said, where'd you keep your arrows? He said, in a quiver. I said, where'd you keep your arrows? <laughs> <laughs> he said, do you want a game of darts? I said, all right then. I said, nearest of all darts. He said, bah. I said, he said, you're closest. <laughs> you see, I'm against hunting. In fact, I'm a hunt saboteur. Yeah, I go the night before and shoot the fox. <laughs> and the other day, I sent my girlfriend a huge pile of snow and then I rang her up. I said, you get my drift. <laughs> so I went down to a local supermarket. I said, I want to make a complaint. I said, this vinegar's got lumps in it. He said, those are pickled onions. <laughs> so I bought some Armageddon cheese. And on the packet, it said, best before end. <laughs> so I got home, there was a dead chicken far around the house. So I rang the vicar, I said, get it quick, I've got a poultry guy. <laughs> so I went to a Chinese restaurant. I said, these noodles are a bit crunchy. He said, you're eating the chopsticks. I said, wait, there are two ears in my soup. He said... And I see the price of hearing aids has gone up. Yeah, deaf people all around the country are going, how much? <laughs> <laughs> so I ordered, and this 
duck walked up to me and he gave me a red rose. He said, your eyes sparkle like diamonds. I said, waiter, I asked for aromatic duck. <laughs> but you know, I'm in a great mood today because the other day I entered a competition and I won a year's supply of Marmite. Yeah, one jar. <laughs> If a stick insect lays his eggs in a jar of bovril, he will give birth to a litter of twiglets. <laughs> and this bloke said to me, he said, can I come into your house and talk to you about your carpets? I thought, well, that's all I need, a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> you see, my next door neighbour worships exhaust pipes. He's a Catholic converter. <laughs> so I rang up British Telecom. I said, I want to report a nuisance phone call. He said, not you again. <laughs> I was having dinner with chess champion Gary Kasparov and we had a black and white check tablecloth. It took him two hours past me all. <laughs> he said, you remind me of a pepper pot. I was like, take that as a condiment. <laughs> so I said to this acrobat, I said, have you got any winter pepper? He said, no. I said, summer salt. <laughs> Did you know all male tennis players are witches? For example, Goran, even he's a witch. <laughs> And I've got a friend who's fallen in love with two school bags. He's bisexual. <laughs> so I was in Tesco's and I saw this man and woman wrapped in a barcode. I said, are you two an item? <laughs> so I was reading my newspaper. I was reading the obituary column. It said, Mars bar, packet of Rolos, double decker. Then I realised, in fact, I was reading the obituary column. <laughs> it said, a lorry load of tortoises crashed into a train load of terrapins. So I thought, that's a total disaster. <laughs> And this aeroplane was filled with, uh, this aeroplane was, t t t t t I've done that one, total disaster. <laughs> I did it twice. Black Beauty was a dark horse. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a tape here that proves. Oh no. That proves beyond any doubt that Keith Richards used to share a two bedroom flat with Sweep. <laughs> Have a listen to this. It's your turn to get the milk. <laughs> so I was in this airport and I said to this woman, I said, and she said, no sir, this is the check-in desk. <laughs> so I went down to my local mirror shop, I said, I want to buy a mirror, you blonde, oh lanky idiot. He said, over here, sir. <laughs> over here. So I was on the aeroplane, the bloke sat next to me, looked exactly like me. I said, what's your name? He said, Tim Vine. I was beside myself. <laughs> it's so stupid. So I went to the watch shop, I said, I want to buy a watch. He said, analog. I said, no, just the watch. <laughs> so I was taking the M4 out of London, and this bloke said, put it back. <laughs> and I passed this man who was playing Dancing Queen on the didgeridoo. And I thought, that's Aboriginal. <laughs> You see, believe it or not, there are twice as many eyebrows in the world as there are people. <laughs> and I've got... <laughs> you were nodding there, that's absolutely right. No, I was... I'll say, you're ticking them off whether they're true or not. Right, okay. Well, that isn't it's strictly true, because some people have got no eyebrows, and some people have only got one. Anyway, this is not comedy, so I crack on my ass. <laughs> Good. Do you know, I got this for my birthday. I took it back to the shop. I said, it's too small. He said, all mug stands are the same size. I said, mug stand? I've been hanging my coat on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for another song. Is it your another song? Yay! Why not? And then after this song, I'll have another dab down. Um, uh, right, so this song is called Deep. Ladies and gentlemen, when I go like this, I want you to go deep. Let's try it now. Deep! Deep! Here we go. Hit the music, please, Dave. Here we go. <laughs> I only know the one dance. <laughs> deep, very deep, very deep, very deep. The ocean is deep, much deeper than you think. Deep, very deep, very deep, very deep. The ocean is deep, much deeper than you think. Ask a mackerel and he say. Hey. Ask a dolphin and he say. Hey. Ask a blue whale and he say, yeah. Ask all the shrimps and they'll all repeat it. Yeah. Very deep, very deep, very deep. The ocean is yeah. much yeah. than you think. Deep, very deep, very deep, very deep. The ocean is yeah. much yeah. than you think. Ask a starfish and he say, 
Oscar will wrestle. He say. Hey. No. He say. Hey. Ask all the prawns and the long repeat. It's very, very. The ocean is much than you think. Deep, deep, thicker than you. The ocean is. It's finished. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Oh, Pat, go. Oh, this is, this is, if anyone's about to die, I'm just going to have a little look, actually. I haven't left anything out because I've been booked to tell the, you know, 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves, we'll start again in just a second. If I don't find where I, where I, where I lost my place, we will start again. <laughs> I was saying something about, um, oh, I see, yeah. Oh, that's all right. Oh, God, you're missing me out. All right. Tell you what, it was a treat. I'll add some more. <laughs> oh, do you know, I was, in this, I was in this bar in America, and my left knee started going like that. Man, what a crazy joint. <laughs> <laughs> then this Alka Seltzer pill came up to me, he said, I bet you can't make me laugh. So I threw a cup of water over him, and he just dissolved. <laughs> I've got a cat called Minton, yeah. And when he eats shuttlecocks, I say, badminton. <laughs> See someone taking pictures there? Do you like photography? Yeah, snap. <laughs> yeah, come on, don't, let's just see what develops. <laughs> don't be negative. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> All right, come on, focus. <laughs> I get the picture. Now, um, pop idol, pop idol, pop idol, pop, pop idol, pop idol. <laughs> Idol pop idol. <laughs> Do you know, a long time ago, uh, oh my God, I said to my funny. father, I said, I want to be a comedian. He said, well, practice in the bath. So I didn't know I am one. He gave the same advice to my brother, but unfortunately, he wanted to be an electrician. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the doctors, I said, I'm scared of lapels. He said, he got cholera. <laughs> I said, the older I get, the more I spread gossip. He says, rheumatism. <laughs> I said, last night when I was asleep, I dreamt I was eating a large marshmallow. He said, don't tell me. When you woke up, your pillow was gone. I said, no. When I woke up, one of my large marshmallows was missing. <laughs> <laughs> so I walked out, and I was surrounded by protractors on motorbikes. It was Hell's Angles. <laughs> Hell's Angles? And I said to this bloke, I said, what do you do for a living? He said, I sell manure. I said, I bet you're rolling in it. <laughs> so I opened the front door, my dad was in the middle of fixing it, and he flew off the handle. <laughs> and I went to a therapy group to help me cope with loneliness, and no one else turned up. <laughs> At a birthday party, there were so few people there, we had to play keep the parcel. <laughs> so I went to the barbers, he said, do you want a crew oh, cut? I said, no, it's only me. <laughs> I said, have you got any Brill cream? He said, it's not that good. Brill cream? Oh my God. I said, give me a ponytail. He said, once upon a time, this pony went in the seaside. <laughs> you see, today I met the bloke who invented crosswords. I can't remember his name, but it was P something, T something, something. <laughs> and I was playing tennis, and this 30-foot bicycle went past. I thought, that's a long rally. <laughs> And I was halfway up this mountain, and this bloke started attacking me. I said, what are you doing? He said, I don't like your altitude. <laughs> and then all these cows started falling over and scraping their knees. And I said, what's up with them? He said, they're grazing. <laughs> and this bloke said to me, he said, are you in favour of arranged marriages? And I said, yes, I am. Because I've been to a marriage that wasn't arranged, it was chaos. <laughs> So I was in this car wash, and I started foaming at the mouth. I thought, I'm not having this, so I cycled out again. <laughs> and I went to a four-star hotel. All the rooms are full of petrol. <laughs> and the receptionist said to me, she said, have you got a reservation? And I said, yes, I'm worried about the price. <laughs> I said, can you give me an early morning call? She said, come and do do I said, very good. <laughs> So I went down my local petrol station, there was nothing coming out of the nozzle. So I walked in, I said, have you got your pumps on? He said, no, I'm wearing flip-flops. <laughs> I said, super unleaded. He said, it is good, isn't it? <laughs> then this bloke came in like that. I thought, he's running a bit low. 
So I went down to a local beach and there was a young boy swimming on his own. So I threw a pair of binoculars. He said, what are these for? I said, you need supervision. <laughs> Come on. So I went down to a local shop. I said, I'm looking for a sailor with one arm. He says, not me, I'm a wholesaler. <laughs> He said, what do you think of voluntary work? Oh, I said, I wouldn't do it if you paid me. <laughs> so I was on this boat and this bloke went past like that. I said, who are you? He said, I'm a skipper. <laughs> then all these bits of lamb started floating by. I thought, gosh, getting choppy. <laughs> I said, I'm going to the back of the boat. He said, stern. I said, I'm going to the back of the boat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for possibly a... Uh, oh, there's another quick impression for you here. Quick impression. That's the world's smallest flamenco dancer. <laughs> now a stunt involving a tennis racket. Haven't got the guts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for me to play something on the guitar. So uh, I want you to oh, give a big okay. round of applause, please, for the guitar. And please keep clapping until I'm in position. Let's hear it for the guitar! Yay! Yay. I'd like to start by singing an old favourite. Red rum. <laughs> this next song is called Subtraction. Take it away. <laughs> Take it away. This next song is dedicated to a friend of mine whose lips protrude two feet out from his face. <laughs> The shadow of your smile <laughs> is huge. My mother speaks like this. My father speaks like this. So I speak like this. <laughs> which can be rather embarrassing. <laughs> It's so stupid. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> now, this song I'm going to do now is called Family Holidays. It's about family holidays and what an absolute scream they are. Now, can I just ask you, um, what's your name? Stuart. Last family holiday you went on, Stuart, where did you go? France. France. Ah, whereabouts? Uh, South France. Paris, you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to carry on. Shut up. <laughs> so, um, do you know, whenever I get into bed, I always think of France because my bed springs go Dordogne. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is the song, and it involves your help in the chorus. This is how the chorus goes. It goes like this. <laughs> always makes me laugh. Let's all try that together. Here we go. <laughs> always makes me laugh. Family holiday. Family holidays, it used to be so funny. When I remember them, it always makes me laugh. Always makes me laugh. Like the time when we spent a fortnight in France. My dad bought a beret and he wore it all the time. Always makes me laugh. Like the time when we order drinks by the pool And when they arrived they were completely the wrong ones Always makes me laugh Like the time my uncle fell asleep on the beach He didn't wake up till the tide was round his waist We threw him a rope and it was out of his reach The current swept him out and we never saw him again <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> uh, yes, a little bit of fashion advice for you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, never plait your Mohican. <laughs> <laughs> I found my thrill. Pass down here. Here it is. <laughs> so I was in this pub. Um, I drank a bottle of wine, lost my file effects, and I got arrested for being drunk and disorganised. <laughs> 
And the policeman said, get in the back of the van. So I got in, and there was this freezer full of chalk ices and a machine called Mr. Whippy. He said, not that man. <laughs> There you get on. So one of the doctors, I said, I've got a rash. He said, I'll be as quick as I can. <laughs> I said, I've got a heart complaint. He said, Mama, I said, I've got a heart complaint. <laughs> so I was reading this book called The History of Glue, and I couldn't put it down. <laughs> you see, I was born and bred in a bakery and raised in an oven. <laughs> we even had a pantry. It was a tree covered in pants. <laughs> and I met this teenage goat. And he had a human chin, because that's quite fashionable for ghosts. <laughs> and I said, ah, oh, I see you've got a blokey. <laughs> so, I went down to a local electrical shop. I said, I'd like someone to sell me a kettle. He said, Kenwood. I said, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> so I took my dog to the vet. No way clear for me then. I took my dog to the vet. Oh, that's a mic. To my dogs in the vet, we can edit that out. <laughs> Either that, keep it in and put a laugh on it. I don't know. We'll, we'll decide later. Um, do you know, I went to the, uh, where was I going? The pet shop? Are you just laughing in the gaps to humour me? <laughs> where was it? Right. Pet shop. I went to the pet shop. <laughs> I said, give me a goldfish. He said, do you want an aquarium? I said, I don't care what star sign he is. <laughs> I said, um, that can't be right. I said, I said, I don't know whether to give my dog a tin of pedigree charm or give him a bone. He said, what's the name of your dog? I said, Nick Knack Paddywhack. <laughs> so I was playing golf with my next door neighbor. After 18 holes, our scores were still level. I said, sudden death, he said, all right, so I shot him. <laughs> So I went down to a local shoe shop, I said, I want my shoes fixed. He said, Soul, I said, I want my shoes fixed. <laughs> now, apparently, if you dangle a needle over a pregnant woman's stomach and it goes round and round like that, and Mish can have a girl. And if it goes side to side like that, and Mish can have a boy. And if it gets pulled downwards, it, Mish can have a magnet. <laughs> and this midwife said to me, she said, Tim, have you ever been present at the birth of a baby? I said, yes, once. She said, what was it like? I said, it was dark and suddenly very light. <laughs> so I said to this barn owl, I said, I just got engaged. He said, you twit to who? <laughs> I said, it's this girl called Ina. Every time I see her, I say, hi, Ina, and she laughs her head off. <laughs> and I saw this sign, it said, hairdressing for men. I walked in, there was a rabbit trying on clothes, and all these blokes going, yeah, very nice. <laughs> You see, last night, I put everything I owned onto one horse, and it squashed it. <laughs> so I went down to a little casino, I said, my girlfriend's just fallen asleep in the middle of a game of cards. He said, poker? I said, good idea. <laughs> he said, do you fancy a game of solitaire? I said, all right then, and he walked off. <laughs> and this policeman came up to me, and he gave me a thin piece of paper and a pencil. I said, what's that for? He said, I want you to help me trace someone. <laughs> And then a really handsome bloke sprinted past, and I thought, he's dashing. <laughs> there was this bloke lying on the ground, snogging a shrimp. I said, what are you doing? He's thinking of holding muscle. <laughs> <laughs> so I was standing on my window ledge, six floors up, looking down at the traffic. I thought, one slip now, and it's curtains for me. <laughs> I fall the other way, I'm gonna die. <laughs> there's one to three ahead of me there. <laughs> um, mm, yes, look at that. Ratatouille. Ratatouille? My impression, ladies and gentlemen, of two rats who swallowed a flock of seagulls. Two rats who swallowed a flock of seagulls. But first of all, look at that. That's a rat standing on a mirror. <laughs> and that's a rat with a mirror on his head. Uh, thank you very much, you're absolutely right. That, in fact, is a rat with a mirror on his head. And that's what I should have said on reflection. <laughs> Impression of two rats who swallowed a flock of seagulls. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for something a little bit different. Um, that was so dumb. It's time, in fact. Um, okay, we'll stop there. <laughs> Mine like laughed out already again. Oh my God. I can't keep up with them. Like it's like.
pas sur le bout du larynx. <rire> Now for something completely different. <laughs>